Dart limiter circuits come in handy when there is a need to limit or clip the signal range or save voltage. Diodes help to keep the output voltage within the value of a total of the voltage applied to a diode's cathode and the diode's direct voltage. At the same time, diodes do not in any way affect the voltage when the values are lower, including if negative. The only thing is the negative input volume should not reach a breakdown voltage value. Let us look at how a diode limiter works in a given circuit. First of all, we apply 4.5 volt voltage to a diode's cathode. The diode we used is a 1N4001 with direct voltage of 1 volt. Thus, if we charge the input volume, the value should not exceed the sum of 4.5 and 1 volt, that is, 5.5 volt. When we apply 4.5 volt voltage at the input, the diode will be closed, and the output voltage should be equal to input voltage less to the voltage drop at the resistor. Now let us change the input voltage to 1.5 volt. We will then get the output voltage of the same 1.5 volt. And this time we will supply the voltage of 3 volts, and we will get the same for the output, 3 volts. If we increase the input voltage further, the diode will open, which would give us the output voltage of 5.5 volt. This value will no longer grow, let us increase input volume to 6 volt. We'll get the same 5.5 volt for the output. The input voltage of 7.5 volt results in 5.5 volt at the output. And finally, the 9 volt still leaves us with the same 5.5 volts at the output. Input diode limiters are commonly used in digital circuits, especially in complementary metal oxide semiconductors. They help protect these sensitive circuits from damage caused by static electric charges.